Well, to sh try to show you where the transmitter is, if you look in the middle of the screen, try to zoom in as much as possible. See that car? Right to the left side of it is where the antenna of the transmitter is. 2,000 feet. At least Google Maps says it's 2,000 feet feet from there to here so let's see if we can actually pick up something 2,000 feet away all right just turn the laptop on and it's actually indicating that we uh, right there says uh, we actually have internet and I hadn't even done nothing but set the uh, receiver in the seat pointing out the windshield Right from the studio. It says we have internet. Let's see. Do we have internet? It says we do, but... <clears throat> Let's find out if we do or not. It might be real weak. It might be just enough to trigger it, but not enough to make it actually work. Let's see. All right, with a little bit of alignment testing, which I love Ubiquity, they put all these tools in here that you can actually use. So we're gonna align antenna. And well, apparently I got uh, internet because I just got notification. Oh, isn't this sweet? And some more notifications. And more notifications. As I was saying, alignment tools show you what they use to uh, so you can line your antennas together. It's not just physical that you can see. It's not the best because I'm in a van going through the windshield and trees and other homes and everything else in the way. But sitting in a van, pointing out the windshield, I could put this antenna on top of the uh, the van and tie it down with some weights or something. But you can click this right here and actually listen to it so you don't have to look at the screen because when you're out in the field installing these, usually it's in the daytime and you, we all know the sun on a computer screen, smartphone, any kind of device like that, you really can't see your screen. So they made it so you can actually... And if it gets out of line you can hear the tone change it gets lower let me turn the antenna now line it up a little bit better point it that direction and you want this number here as close as possible to that number. Which right now we're not going to get that because the conditions that we're in. I just want to see if this will actually work under really stress uh, circumstances. That sounds like a little higher, so we're going to leave it right there. So we can go open up another tab and since we get this is the throughput that we possibly be able to get right here these numbers the transmit and receive roughly 1327 so we can, we can go say uh, well stay and turn it 27 pretty good jumping up 40 Let, let's go say you know Worst scenario, see if we can get 10. 10 is enough to be able to, you know, stream videos and and do emails and work on everyday stuff. Unless, of course, you're watching 4K video. Yeah, not so much. So let's go see about YouTube. 
I'm just going to see if it comes up. All right, we got internet there. Then we're just going to go to our channel. Don't want to play somebody else's. And we are going to just pick a random video. Let's see. Let's scroll up here and let's uh, see. Let's do this one right here. See if it would do it. It says it's in trying to play in Cotton, HD. Nice and easy. Look at that. Very lightweight, but still built very well. Playing in HD. Able to zoom in on some things from a distance. Bird watching, you know, golf, baseball game, football game, NASCAR, mud buggy. Something that you need to get a little bit closer. This is what you need. There is a link to this item. All right, we know that it will actually play a video. And you see the wireless is not on, so I'm not trying to cheat you saying it works and all, because you see the wireless is turned off. Let's see. Let's see what kind of test we actually, speed-wise, we get. Maybe it might not be much, but hey, it's playing, you know, 720p video. So it's got to be some kind of decent speed. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Five, six. Seven. Seven. <clears throat> And the internet that we're actually uh, sending and using is very small anyway. The maximum download is 10. And the maximum upload is 700. Not megabits. But 0.7 megabits. And 10 max down. And with a 42 ping. And the antennas behind all... Of them trees and everything see right in the middle that home that white home and where that car is down that road so basically if I draw a straight line I'm going through that tree right there by Google it says it's going right through that tree right there because it's lined up with that telephone pole right there that's where the signal's coming through. So I believe this works real well. I can imagine if I actually had a line of sight and it actually has nothing in the way, I probably would get everything. Everything of the speed that I give, it probably will actually come through. Nice. Now I know why this is the CPEs that I use for my clients on all the WISP uh, systems that I have. Look at there. Look at that ping. 33. Uh oh. See what we get. Look at that. 9 point. Get this thing to focus. Get the sun off this lens. 9.48. And 0 0.7 is the highest. Sometimes it'll it'll spike a little bit. That they got actually they have it set on uh, 8.75, so you can get the seven point you know 0 0.7. They set it to 0 0.85. At least in the modem that they gave us, that's what they have. They have 11.5 and 0.85 set in the uh, the the modem itself. That way they know that, you know, with a good plugged in connection, you'll get your 10 and what they guarantee, you know, what they say you will get. But 2,000 feet away, 33 ping, 9.48, and a 0.73. That's insane. Love this equipment. 
And that's why it's so easy to set up a WISP and be able to get the client internet so easily, even going through trees. I didn't think I was going to get this much of it. I was thinking maybe one or two because all the trees and the houses and all between here and there. But this is going a straight line and going through trees. By Google Maps, it says it's not hitting any of the houses. It says it's going between them. So apparently it's right because I'm getting 9.48 out of 10. And 0.73 out of 0.7, not bad. If you like this kind of video of testing the long range Wi-Fi, setting up a WISP, leave it in the comments and ask all the questions you want. If you're looking to set one up, just share the internet with somebody down the street, get up with us, and we'll let you know what equipment you need to get it done. I'm trying to put a little extra stress or to go beyond what is needed. So I got this video of mine up, which is in HD. I have this video up as HD. And I got it locked in on HD on both. So let's see if it actually will play two videos in 720p at the same time. Tool side that Without having any issues. In the network, you set up the... Uh, clients on what equipment they have, Let's link it to see. it and everything. The overview, you got your client leads, your active clients, suspended clients. So if any of these don't pay, they automatically get put over here. And it shows network activity disconnected or clients without devices like you setting one up. They hadn't got device, but you got them account set up. Clients with, uh, without Ears. that's it's not in the nice CRM. If you got a client, but you're not set up like the zero. invoices and stuff like that for the client yet, and the total traffic in the last pushing one eight years. So let's see if these are actually comfortable. Well, I have to say they are. I think it'll work. 2,000 square, 2,000 feet away, not line of sight whatsoever, and we're getting enough to play two videos in 720p. I need to find a location and see how far this thing will go. I got some of these set up that's like half a mile, which is, let's see, uh, a mile is what, 5,280 feet. So half of that is roughly a little bit over about 22,600 feet. I'm almost there. But I like to see if I can get it in miles instead of just, you know, up to a mile and see if this thing will actually work. So I'll look for a location, make a video on that. I like to get at least a mile, a line of sight and see how this thing works. The hard part, not getting a mile or two miles, it's have an internet on the other end but even if not we can still do a speed test with just the antennas connected to each other wirelessly